What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also smash that like while you're at it. If you want to become a channel member, you can also click join just to the left of subscribe. Check out our new website at StellaCrewGaming.com, and you can also find us on all of our social media platforms at just Stella Crew Gaming. With well, all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video, I am going to show you how to do a Torso 2 merge with only one console. That's right, this is only one console, but you do need Save Wizard. All right, so you are gonna need Save Editor and Save Wizard for this particular method. But if you don't have any friends, then you can still do this solo. All right, or if you don't have a second console or a friend with a second console that can help you, or a console to help you, I should say, then this will work for you. So this is solo. All right, so I wanna first give a big shout out to Silent, llsilent.com. Go check her out if you haven't yet. Um, she is, I guess you could say, the re-founder of this glitch, um, not to discredit her by any means. She is definitely bringing this back up to light. Now, this was originally found, I believe, by EM Glitch um, quite a while ago now, but it was used with the double transfer. So um, nobody really kind of talked about it or used it in this way. So it's been around for a while, but it definitely has not been utilized. Um, to I guess it's full benefit let's say so big shout out to silent and EM um, so for this method basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do it in this video for a male character all right I will make a second video for a female character but this one's gonna be for the male so when we load up our save we actually want to load up our female save so even though we're doing a male character we're gonna load up our female save okay so the way I'm going to do it in this video is I'm just going to show uh, a quick outfit that I'm going to make with this method, um, but there is also other possibilities with this, um, but for now we're just going to do this one basic outfit. So it works just like a transfer glitch. You want to make sure that you're selecting the components on the female character that will transfer over to the male character. All right. So things like mask, you obviously will still want to have your, your penguin mask, we're going to use the no bird skip save. Um, skin and hands, you can either leave this blank if you were going to merge some gloves onto it. Uh, personally, I just did it as the default default 15-0. Alright, um, but you, again, you can leave that torso invisible if you wanted to, to go ahead and merge some gloves. Um, legs, I'm going to use these ones here. These ones here will actually convert to the black joggers on the male, but they're the Sekiro Serve black joggers. So unfortunately there's no components to go from female to male to get you all of the joggers. Um, so as I said, this is a very limited um, female character actually gets a lot more components because you can get joggers and things like that. Um, you could also leave this blank if you want, if you already had an outfit with the pants and torso that you wanted, but you just wanted to merge logo and armor, you could leave pretty much the whole save empty and just go ahead and put logos and armor if you wanted to as well. So maybe I'll show that in a second video. Um, for the shoes, I'm gonna do the actual black skinny canvas on this one. So I'm gonna use these green biker boots, which is 48-0. Excuse me, my sinuses have been driving me nuts lately. Um, and then for the torso one, I'm gonna merge it after the fact with the gas mask glitch. So I've got the teal lace bustier, which is 22-4, which will obviously convert over to the white suitor uh, long sleeve shirt. All right. Now for armor, I'm going to do the FIB badges. All right. So I've got the second one. It's 54-0. It's just the basic dash zero. It's the second one on the list here. All right. Um, so that'll transfer over to the exact same component on the female. So it's the same same component, male and female. Obviously, if you're doing armor, you could do armor. Now, you want to just make sure it's the same drawable and texture for whatever that you want. Um, so on a male character, if you're wanting crew armor 5, which a lot of people generally do, um, you'll just want to make sure you look up what the matching component would be on the female. All right. Now, for logos, these are one-off. So 
for male to female. So because I am doing a male character, I want this one here, 11-3, um, which is actually going to end up being this one, the black racing suit. Okay. So these are the logos that I want, but the female has its one up drawable. So I'm going to put the black biker suit, which is going to give me those other logos. Now for torso two, there's many torso twos that'll work. I'm using the dinner, the diner, all right, which is 58-5. Um, so this is the one that we were using before. The male uses the same male version, um, but there is other components that'll work for this as well. More or less, any torso that doesn't show up on the opposite character is a merge component. All right, so you can find different ones. I think Silent used the, um, well, she was doing the, the male to female, but um, those kind of, um, heist uh, long sleeve armored shirts whatever the hell they're called again I can't remember the tundras or whatever so she used that one for the male um, but this is the one I will be using for the female so it's called the dinner the diner whatever you want to call it um, and that is 58-5 so this is a merge component for the male to female and lastly if you want a helmet obviously you can put the green bulletproof helmet that's the same on the male and female and glasses I'm gonna leave blank if you want to put checkered glasses obviously you could so again, just to recap, so I'm putting the legs, I'm putting the full body legs on here, uh, which is 33-0. Skin and hands I've left at 15-0, but you could leave that as an empty. Shoes, I'm doing the green biker suit, which will give me the black skinny. Torso one, I'm gonna do 22-4 to merge it after. Armor, I'm just gonna use the FIB badge. Crew logos, we are one up, so I'm using the black biker suit. And then torso two, I am using the diner. All right, so that's it. So once you obviously have the save how you want, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, and then just go ahead and load it into your save wizard and assign it to your save. So from there, we're just gonna go ahead and load that save into GTA. So we'll see you over there. All right, so here we are now on our female character. So again, we are doing a male character, but I wanted to start off on the female character to show you if you wanted to transfer over any accessories, to the male we want to make sure that we put them on the female and again this is just like any outfit transfer glitch so you want to make sure you put the components on the female um, that'll transfer over to whatever you want on the male so I was gonna to try to do the gauntlet bracelets on this particular one but unfortunately there is a not a component for the left one um, for the right one it's just this gold textured cuff but for the right one it's actually a watch that hasn't even been released yet so unfortunately there is no texture for the left one but if you're wanting to put a scarf or something like that you would want to make sure you put that on the female before we start the glitch now once you've done that and built up the female without accessories you want we're just going to switchly switchly quickly switch back to our male character now at this point we're going to do the actual skip bird glitch all right so i'm not going to show the whole glitch i will leave a link down below to the actual method most of you should be familiar with this already but if you're not i will leave a link down below for the full tutorial on how to do this um, so i'm just going to show the beginning part here so obviously we're going to go into the time trial start it up once we start it up we're going to go back to story now once we're back in story we're going to get a phone call from lester you simply want to accept it and go into director mode so i'm showing this part here just so we can show you um, first thing we want to do is we want to go into our online character, hover over that female character that's wearing the accessories that we want to transfer over. Once we've hovered over her, we can go into our shortlist and pick the boardwalker outfit that we have right here. So this should look familiar. This is the one that we built up in Save Editor in the beginning. All right, so we've got the um, green boots and the black pants and the white shirt and blah, 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 and the FIB badge and everything else. So again, it's going to show us as a female, even though we were on a male character. Um, so from here, we're just going to proceed with the glitch as normal. Again, I'm not going to show the full method. But once you do get online, you will notice that the outfit obviously has changed. So we're now wearing the black joggers that we wanted. So these are the Securo Sir black joggers with the black skinny canvas. And then it does have the white band shirt, FIB badge, and then it has like a black tail jacket, which is actually our merge component. So from here, we want to go into Crooked Cop. So now I should have said this in the beginning. You obviously want to make sure that you have whatever torso that you want to merge um, in either slot one or slot 19. So either your first or your last slot. So we do come in here. We can go simply once to the right and once to the left. And there we go. The top will merge. So I just decided to do one of these Jock Cranley suits just for the purpose of the video. But as you can see, it did merge and we have the white band shirt. All right, so it worked just like it was supposed to. That is perfect. 
Now from here, all we need to do is just go ahead and save it. Um, now once we do save it, we are going to do the gas mask trick um, to go ahead and put on the belt, all right? So we have now saved this outfit. We simply want to pick one of the gas mask outfits from the house heist coverall section. Once we do have the gas mask, we simply want to go over to a telescope. And from the telescope, we're going to put the gas mask outfit on. And then we're just going to run by the telescope, spamming right on the D-pad. If done properly, you should kind of glitch out like this. I'm sure you, most of you, or all of you, should know this by now. And then we're just going to go ahead and switch over to the outfit that we just made. So we do transfer the gas mask onto this outfit. Now you're not going to be able to get into a car at this point. So you're either going to need a motorbike or you're going to have to run all the way over to the mask store. Now once you're here, we just want to hit right on the D-pad and we want to save this outfit. So we can just overwrite the one that we just saved. It doesn't matter. If you want to save it in a separate slot, you can save it in a separate slot. That's up to you. So once we do have this, um, I just like to kill myself first and make sure we kind of get this saved. So you can just take the easy way out. Um, then also what generally helps is you want to transfer or like switch between outfits. Um, so you might want to switch to an outfit without a mask and then switch back to the one with the mask. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and start up your Titan of a job. All right, so I just kind of spam through the outfits there. Start up Titan of a job. You can obviously start Titan of a job by yourself. You do not need anybody to help you with this one. Now, when you do load into Titan of a Job, if done properly, you should be wearing no mask. All right. Sometimes you'll still wear a mask, uh, the gas mask, which will still work. But if you get the black knitted kind of uh, bal balaclava, balaclava, that's what you call it, um, then it's not going to work. You're going to have to try it again. Sometimes you even have to close up and reset cache. But if you come in with no mask, simply work your way over to the ammunition and save it. Now, if it's done properly, at this point, the outfit should not be selectable. So you can go into your interaction menu and scroll through and see if it is selectable. If it's not, then you are good. So from there, you simply want to go into Crooked Cop. You want to make sure you have whatever belt you want to have merged um, right beside the outfit that we just saved that was not allowing us to select it. So I put the air racing suit belt that you see here. And we simply want to go over the racing belt and then to the outfit that we just created. So they do have to be side by side. Um, they do not have to be in slot 1 or 20. But you would go and scroll over the one with the belt first. And then over to the one that we created, the invisible torso 1. Um, if done correctly, everything you see there, you'll now see everything has merged. So we got the racing belt. We got the FIB badge. Um, we even have the gauntlet, which actually transferred over for the right. Um, but the left, as you can see, did not work because it did not use the right component because unfortunately there was not a component. Um, so just like any other crooked cop, obviously, we're going to put the earpiece on and then we're just going to go into the shop and save it. And here we are now in a session, so we can go ahead and just save this. And so everything has been merged. So again, this is your solo torso 2 merge with save wizard and save editor. Um, so big shout out again to silent and EM glitch. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. If you want to become a channel member, click on that join button. And until the next one, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.